Hi guys, welcome to your daily tarot reading for Friday the 16th of September 2022. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to use the Tower of the Golden Wheel for today's reading. And let's see what the cards have to say about this day. Hope you've had a wonderful week so far. And I'm going to choose three cards here to see what Friday has in store. So let's see what that is. First card is the Six of Wheels. So that's the Six of Pentacles. Then we have the Seven of Swords. And the Magician. Okay, that's really interesting because the Seven of Swords is at the center here. And this is a card that says, will I get caught or not? It's up in the air. So we've got this thief. He went into the camp, took all the swords and ran off with it. Then he went into the woods to hide. But unfortunately, the guy's realized and they're now chasing him and we don't know whether they're going to find him and take the swords back or whether they're going to overlook him continue in the wrong direction and he does get away with it and it could go either way right it's 50 50 and the cause of this whole situation is his thinking which says if i don't have enough it's okay for me to take someone else's property because my interests and my needs rule above everything and everyone else. So questionable thinking and questionable behavior could get you in trouble or it couldn't. It's 50-50. And then we have the six of wheels. The six of wheels is the haves and haves not card. So again, it's about duality. It's about balance. Sometimes you're up and you've got a ton of apples and you can give one away to the little girl because you still got enough for yourself. And other times there's a big door in front of you and there are no adults and you can't push that door open by yourself and you're going to need some help. So again, it's 50-50, it could go either way, but we do have the six of wheels with a woman giving the apple. So I feel that if something is going to happen with this card qualifying this one, I think it's very likely to happen, especially if it's based on something like your own thinking. So was you may disagree with me, let me know in the comments, but as far as I can see, this combination of cards says that if you decide it's a good idea to behave badly, <laughs> naughty, naughty, um, and that happens in your mind's eye, the cards are saying you aren't gonna get away with it. The opportunity for other people to find you is there and it could go either way, but the cards are saying if you're banking on something like that to get away with it, try again because that isn't going to work for you here on Friday. They're going to see, they're going to catch a glimpse of the pattern in his little um, coat here and they'll investigate more closely and then they've got it. So the Six of Wheels is an opportunity that arises um, temporarily. And here it's having the help and the support to open this door and to make progress in terms of your working life, in terms of your career. But you're only going to receive help if you're genuine about where you're at in life. So she can't open it herself. She can't just steal the local, I don't know, bulldozer and do it herself because she'll get in trouble for that. Instead, she go, goes, asks her mom, hey, I want to go through the gate. Can you help me? Yes, and she gets both. So the door is open and she gets uh, an apple for her efforts. So there's a major opportunity to enjoy a lot of success. But a part of it that I'm noticing here is to be open and honest and to not try and bluff your way through it or to save face or to be underhanded in order to save and to protect the self. That is going to backfire. Being open and vulnerable isn't going to backfire. That's, what, that's when you get what you need. So if you are struggling in your working life or financially or in your living situation or you don't want to live where you live anymore, that kind of, dif that kind of conversation is quite difficult to have with a partner or someone who lives there with you. You know, well, we depend on your income as a household. You can't just up and quit your job because you no longer like it, you know, but that's a difficult conversation. But if you 
open up about where you really are, the other person will give you a present, which will either give you a new insight into your current situation, or they will support you in making the changes that you want. The only thing to avoid is to lie and be deceitful about it, because you're not going to get away with it. And then also you will be misunderstood. You know, like if someone steals um, a loaf of bread, they're going to focus on the crime of the theft. They're not going to talk about how you were really hungry. So it's the negative action that take on a life of their own. And that's why it's important today not to be naughty because um, you're going to be pulled up on it and then you have to eat humble pie, which isn't fun. Finally, the magician. The magician, this is interesting actually, because usually he's got one wand um, held up to the sky and one wand pointing down to the earth. And the point of the magician is that he downloads the guidance from the higher self. He listens to his instincts, his feelings, and what he's supposed to do in life. That's what recharges him, living in the now. Each breath that he takes makes him stronger and stronger and more present. And then the other one, he channels that energy into the planet Earth and he creates something sensational. Here, we've got him crossing a sword with a wand. And the law of attraction is always at work, so there's a reason I chose this deck today. So the only thing that can block your ability to make magic, to create something wonderful, is your own negative thinking or unhelpful beliefs that take you off the path because you're acting out, you're trying to protect your own pain or your own hurt or something that you dislike by offsetting it with something else that's negative. That is really the big no-no of this day and that's what's gonna prevent you from having a good time. If you uh, take stock of where you are and if you do need help, you ask for that and you see, look at ways forward, especially in your practical circumstances, then I feel this sword is going to be removed. He's going to be able to use this wand again, and he'll be able to recreate the magic that he always makes. I think this is a magician who is being stopped by self-doubt and um, someone who's into shortcuts. It's faulty thinking, basically. Here we've got the cup at the center, which is also very different, and it's kind of steaming and all the vapors are surrounding him. So love is the key that's going to make all of this better um, and, and give you your own power back. So the solution isn't to think your way out of it, it's to connect with someone you love and to take the loving kind approach to any problem that's in your life, not the how do I get away with it, how do I put other people how do I, you know, get what I need, exploit other people? All of that kind of stuff is to be avoided. So that's a really specific and interesting warning because, you know, sometimes we all want a shortcut. Why should I eat healthily if I can do a one-week onion diet? I'll lose the same weight. But the onion diet doesn't... I, it, first of all, it's horrible, you smell. There is an actual diet like that. My ex used to do it. <laughs> And then second of all, after that week, it's like, oh, and again, this is just my experience with someone who did that diet. Oh, I've lost so much weight in this week, I can go to McDonald's now. So, you know, it's about maintaining something, being consistent with it, and that's the way forward. It's not that kind of approach. Six and seven is 13, and one is 14. One and four is five, and five is freedom. So you've got... The freedom to choose, first of all. You've got the freedom to make major pro progress and to create something really wonderful. But you also have the freedom to choose the shortcut. And that's where the cards are giving this warning and saying, it is your choice, but making this choice today is less than ideal. Sometimes shortcuts work, but today it's unlikely that they will. So beware. I hope you have a great day. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading to audio reading with me. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and the little bell next to it. Um, because I went live just now before I made this video. I do live tarot readings occasionally. And if you click on the bell, then you'll be notified when I come on. Um, and also share the video online if, if you can. That would be awesome. Have a wonderful day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.